Hi, I'm Daniel, President of Virtual Reality at Berkeley. VR at Berkeley is a student group at UC Berkeley that helps undergrads work on virtual reality research projects, increases access to VR equipment for students at Berkeley, and provides opportunities for the campus community to experience the wonders of this developing field. We started in spring of 2015 as a group of students interested in the applications of VR and its potential for both research and fun. We soon found an advisor in Dr. Alan Yang in the Berkeley Robotics Lab and organized several teams of undergrads working on research and development with academic advisors. The Oculus Rift was the first platform we explored, but we soon expanded to a range of devices, including the Leap Motion Controller and Google's Cardboard and Tango. We presented our projects at events like CalDay, spoke to local student groups about tech and VR, and showcased our work internationally at the Global Create Summit in Shenzhen, China. Today, we'd like to talk about a project we did last semester with the Berkeley Robotics Lab. One of the first applications that we wanted to pursue was integrating VR with robotics to enable users to interact with robots more naturally and meaningfully. We worked with Dr. Yan and grad students at Cal to integrate the Rift with the lab's triple access force feedback motion simulator. At Berkeley Robotics Lab, we are developing new AR and VR interfaces. Our goal is to allow human users to interact and collaborate with the robots intuitively. For this project, we provided a state-of-the-art indoor car simulator platform. The platform is capable of continuous rotation in 360 degrees and extra degrees of freedom to pitch, roll, and heave. However, relying only on its frontal monitors, the driver could not look around from the cabin in complex driving scenarios. We believe a fully immersive VR system can address this problem effectively and efficiently. So major components of the project were interfacing the game engine with the simulator, getting driver input back from the simulator, and creating a virtual environment for the driver to interact with. The Unity game engine was a natural choice as it has good Oculus support and easy to use physics engine, which we used to generate data for controlling the simulator. We got input from the simulator steering wheel and pedals while adjusting the way the Rift tracking worked to compensate for the motion of the simulator. The Unity Editor also allowed us to rapidly iterate through multiple terrains and environments. I believe what the VR Club achieved in the past three months was pretty impressive, but it is our only first baby step to get a rapid prototype towards building an intuitive human robot interface. We've got lots of cool projects planned using the simulator and other technologies for upcoming semesters. Check us out online at vr.berkeley.edu.